Yeah. I'm thinking now, like when you're doing these real estate transactions, um, the importance of credit inside of this, right? Yeah. When you're going to get your lease or you're trying to get a new deal. Talk about that, because that, that's something that people are not looking at. Like when we, we talk credit, most people think, oh, I got to get a home <coughs> or I got to get a car. But you're creating and businesses and a, almost like a, a hospitality situation where credit is almost equally as important inside that and the effects of it. When you say credit, you're talking about credit lines? Credit credit lines, like if, if you're going to, to get a loan from the bank, if you're, if you're trying to do a real estate deal. Right. How 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 does that work inside the real estate? Space? Well, uh, no, nah, it, work, it works. It works like you know. I mean, to acquire anything, you gotta have you know, you gotta have you know, P and Ls and credit. You gotta have just like just credentials. You know what I mean? So uh, it allowed me like before. I remember when I brought my first piece of property at uh, twenty five. Um, I actually I sold my watch. <laughs> I, had, I had got this Rolex. What, uh, what kind? It was a bust down. Bust down. Bust it down. Rolex, right? it down. I ain't know nothing about no Rolex, but I paid a lot of money for it, right? <laughs> I, I'm gonna need that cash. No, no, listen, no, no, real talk. I thought I thought I was a rapper back back when I was 25. So I was I was hanging with Fab. I was hanging with everybody. I thought I was a rapper. So, um, but you know when I realized I wasn't, I'm an entrepreneur. You mm. know what I mean, that's when everything started to change because I was like living my purpose, you know. And um, I sold that watch. Had a friend of mine. I won't say his name. <laughs> he bought the watch for the same price I bought it. So I got to shine with it for two years. Yeah. I sold it and I bought my first house, thirty nine thousand dollars cash. Mm-hmm. To die Spencer, I couldn't I couldn't go to the bank. I wasn't bankable, right? And I tell my staff, I'm like, yo, look, y'all want to keep your cash. Y'all need to go deposit it and show the government what you're making, pay taxes on it so that you can go acquire things. People think that you, like, like if, if you're in the service industry, the thing is, like, well, I want my cash tips. Mm-hmm. That's not going to help you buy a house. Not going to help you buy a car. No, you need to go deposit it, show what you're making, pay your taxes. Now when you go to the bank, you got paperwork. You know what I mean? And I didn't realize that. And that's why I try to, like, these things that I'm telling my staff, like, yeah. I want I want them to be knowledgeable. Like, it's not like, how do you get to the next level? You got to pay the play. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad you just said you that because I'm thinking about people who get the tips, and it's like, I'm, I'm going to just put this under the mattress, right? But you do that long enough, then you can't show. Oh. She laughed because she put us under the mattress. <laughs> 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 he do too? Yeah. But, the, right, if you don't put that in the bank, then it's like, when I'm trying to get a loan, well, what's your income? You know what I'm saying? So it becomes I think, super I, I, difficult. I think when you're not in a financial position to go do what you want to do, you need to show as much as you can. Mm-hmm. But when you get in a financial position to do what you need to do, such as like, you know, very successful people, they're trying to hide money, trying to, you know, buy buildings and different things for tax purposes to not pay as much. So I think, you know, it's, it's different games you got to play at different points in your life. Yeah. So if you're starting off and you're trying to grow, you need to be showing what you're making. You need to be paying your taxes. And it hurt because, honestly, I paid a large amount of money the other day just getting caught up on things. You know, like getting, like, my business took off so fast when I was, you know, just started producing events. I'm making money producing events. I'm not paying no taxes. I'm not, what is a tax? Like, what, like, what is that? <laughs> what is it? Yeah. <laughs> like, what is it? What is it? I'm so sorry, having but, paid but, my but taxes, honestly, I, I'm too turned up. Too no, turned. Right, no, right. Too <laughs> turned up. Right, no, too turned up. No, but think about it, right? <laughs> but the average person, the average person not thinking about taxes. Like, That's a fact. But so when I realized I couldn't buy that property through the bank, I had to pay cash. Craziest thing I ever did because it slowed my process down. I paid thirty nine thousand and I had to put like a hundred thousand dollars into renovation. All my money had no money available. It slowed me down. Had to sell this home and I was so eager to sell it because I had no money. So I took a cut on it and it just threw it off, threw me off track. And um, shout out to Sadat Spencer because he's the reason why I bought my first piece of property because he saw I wanted to get in the in- industry. He's a uh, guy in New Orleans, a guru in this industry. Um, and um, one of my friends and partner now, JC. Uh, was was a was a financial advisor. Uh, he worked at the bank, and he told me, he "said Why would you pay cash for it when you could have took that same hundred thousand dollars, put down twenty percent deposit, and buy five pieces of properties? Now you make five times the money." Ooh, and I told he spoke to me and, and listen, <laughs> spoke to my I, soul. And listen, like like like, <laughs> like like getting all this advice yeah. is what changed like me. Yeah. You know, like I go to the bank. You know, I just sold two homes. Like like I sold one two weeks ago, and I sold another one the following week, and I used the bank's money. Other people's money. Other people's money. And I didn't understand that at first. But, you know, like, I sold, like, a house uptown for, uh, off a of magazine. You know, that's, like, you know, that's that's big. That's heavy. <laughs> heavy. <laughs> and I sold another one, you know. So it's, like, you know, it was a great week. But, like, I didn't have to, you know, put down, you know, pay it out, out cash, you know. Like, I used the bank for it and, and it allowed me to do more. 